Hi everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. We are learning uh, Turing, Turing machine and then uh, we have completed a lot of videos regarding the introductory session on Turing machine. Uh, yet we haven't started our uh, session on, the con on how to construct a Turing machine that we'll be doing in the upcoming videos. So uh, basically before starting off with any construction process of the Turing machine which is considered to be the most powerful machine you have to know certain things okay uh, certain introduction to this particular topic as we have earlier in my previous lecture we have already learned about uh, the introductory topics of regarding Turing machine uh, how the rules of operation how the operation is being executed okay then uh, we have seen the formal description of a Turing machine and now in this particular video I will let you know about a thesis which was being uh, given by Alan Turing and the name is Alan Turing's thesis and sometimes uh, it is also known as Charles thesis okay so uh, according, this will take a short uh, video uh, where uh, just what uh, Alan Turing has described about the Turing machine uh, in the year 1936 that was being depicted in this particular topic okay so uh, basically what does Turing thesis uh, states, it states that um, if you consider any kind of computations that may be uh, uh, integer addition, that may be integer multiplication, that can be accountability of integers, that can be any computation uh, which you think of like to be carried out by any kind of mechanical means is also possible and also possible to be performed by any kind of Turing machine. Okay, any kind of Turing machine means Turing machine are having certain variations, certain variants of Turing machine that we will be discussing in the upcoming class. But I am talking about any Turing machine. Okay, that means any combination, uh, let it be anything, can be carried out, which is possible by any kind of mechanical means, is also can be performed by a Turing machine. So that was the thesis, that was the statement given by Alan Turing okay and uh, or you can also say in the same way that uh, as you can see in the second line i have already given you that this is the uh, this is an important statement uh, that means a computation on numbers uh, it may be a natural number it can be a set of integers okay uh, that that number system we will let you know later on but it, it can be any number system by any any means of algorithm okay if and only if that means vice versa if and only if it is computable by turing machine that means if there is any kind of computa computation on numbers yes there is a pos there is also on the other hand that that can be computed by any kind of turing machine correct so this is a very important statement that is being given now the most important thing to be notified is that in the year 1936 before the development of any kind of computer before the development of any kind of logic gate before the development of any kind of microprocessor anything alan turing sir in 1936 he has already given this statement which de describes that how powerful he was thinking to be the turing machine and it works correct so this is a very very big statement that he has given in the year 1936 that any computation can that can be that which can be carried out by any mechanical means can be performed by a Turing machine. Now few arguments they did and yes they succeeded and they uh, provided this uh, important point that the first argument says that that I've already told you in the in this particular statement uh, that anything that can be done on existing existing digital computer can also be done by Turing machine. That means you can think this Turing machine as the basis of all the machines and then whatever computations has been described in the algorithm defined by Turing machine is possible to be performed by any digital computer that is one first argument and second argument what it says that no one has yet been able to suggest a problem solvable by what we can consider an algorithm for which a turing machine program cannot be written that means this is a big statement which has an argument states that if you are having any uh, program pro problem solvable uh, scenario which in terms of an algorithm yes that is for sure that a Turing machine can, program can uh, easily write that or easily overcome that. Okay, so that this means that currently there is no problem which can be solved by digital computer and cannot be solved by a Turing machine. Okay, so this is my this is the main motive of uh, this thesis, and this is nothing but the statement that he has given in the uh, earlier. Okay, so this is all about the Turing thesis during Turing statement that Alan Turing sir has given in the year 1936. 
which describes that any computations that can be performed by any devices let it be digital computer let it be digital let, let it be any mechanical means yes that can be possibly that can be easily performed by a turing machine that means turing machine you can consider to be one of them having the most expressive power compared to all other machines existing till now correct so thank you for watching the video i think it's almost clear to everyone that what the what turing uh, thesis is all about okay yes uh, if i want to describe if i want to say that if anyone uh, who is uh, appearing for final uh, for, for a btech examination okay yes this is a common question being asked that explain the turing thesis or charles thesis you have to at least explain the statement what is being given by alan turing sir in the year 1936 and the arguments that finally been concluded okay so in the next video lecture we will come across with with an important topic which is known as your uh, the different type of variations of Turing machine that means what are different types of Turing machines okay uh, we know we have earlier learned that Turing machine comprises of the data structure that is a tape and a tape head based on that you will be astonished to see that how many different ways of you can represent a Turing machine or the different types of Turing machine is all about okay so hope we'll meet in the next video lecture where we will learn about the variations of Turing machine okay thank you for watching the video if you're having any suggestions or comments please comment down below it will be great help for me and also to understand what queries you are having okay thank you for watching